Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at building a simple macro keypad using just two components. These can be really useful for creating hotkeys for your favorite games or applications to perform certain tasks. But the main reason I use mine is for controlling OBS. You can change scenes or enable different parts of a scene using a simple click of a button. Let's take a look at the hardware I'm using. So the first thing we need is an Arduino that can emulate a HID device, or basically your mouse or keyboard. So for this I'm using an Arduino Pro Micro, which is based on the Atmega 32U4. Another option are these DigiSpark clones from AliExpress, they're only about a dollar, but I'm going for the simplest option here and these require you to install custom board definitions. Another reason to use the Pro Micro over the DigiSpark is we wouldn't be able to use this bad boy. This is a 4x4 keypad matrix or button matrix and it even has a sticky thing on the back so you can stick it to something. But these aren't the best buttons in the world but they're 50 cent delivered from AliExpress and there's 16 buttons and they're really easy to connect up so yeah, simple. Another nice thing about this combination is for wiring them, you can just plug the keypad directly in. The keypad just plugs directly into the HEPIO pins 2 through 9. Before we take a look at the code, let's first take a look at how the button matrix is wired up. Each row and column are connected to a GPIO pin. Four of these will be set as inputs and four of them as outputs. Your Arduino will have to set the state of each row individually and then read the state of each column individually. When a button is pressed, you'll know which button is pressed because you'll know what state has been set on the row and you'll know which column is now reading that state. But because we want to keep this really simple, we'll just use an already made library to look after all of this for us. Now let's take a look at the code. As I mentioned, the project is really simple, so this won't take a long time. So the keyboard.h library here is included by default, so you don't need to worry about that. The keypad.h does need to be installed from the library manager. So to do that, go to uh, sketch, include library, manage libraries, search for keypad. and scroll down till you find this one, the one by Mark Stanley and Alexander Breivig, and install that. If you end up having a button matrix that has more or less columns and rows, you can do that here. This uh, character map here, or character array of rays, this is just basically when a button is pressed, this is the character that will get returned so it doesn't really matter all that much you just need to react to that button so for me I have a one button up the top left a star button down the bottom left so it's aligned properly for me you can change it if your thing is different but it doesn't really matter this is where the pins are defined and this is already set up for the way that I mentioned earlier. And then we just define this keypad object that comes with the library that we just installed. We do a keyboard.begin, so that starts the HID device, so that's part of the um, keyboard.h. And then if we go down to the loop, all we're doing here is we're asking the keypad, do we have any keys? If we have a key, we do a switch on it and we do a case statement based on the values that are up in this um, this array here and we're sending a macro command based on that so this as I said before is a really simple one so we're just sending F1, F2, F3, F4 all the way down and then we're also sending macro command with A, B, C and D so if we look at the send macro command uh, method, it's doing keyboard dot press, left control, left shift, left alt, and the key that was passed in. So basically, what that would do is the same as if you held down control, shift, alt, and the key that's passed in on your keyboard. So we then have a delay of 100 milliseconds, and then we release all the keys. 
when it comes time to installing it to the board, you can just go to Tools, on the Board Manager, select the Arduino Micro or Genuino, and then for Port, you can select the COM port, and it will actually show up that it's the Arduino Genuine Micro or Genuino Micro, and just click that. And then you can just click Upload, and it's ready to go. Okay, let's take a look at this working in OBS. So I have a scene here that is capturing my desktop and also has my camera looking down at my desk. But say I want to toggle the personal cam or the face cam. So what we're going to do here is I'll show you the settings option now, but click settings in OBS. And then when that shows up, you can go to hotkeys. Now you have a lot of different general options here for start streaming or start recording so that might be useful if you're using OBS for recording videos and then if we go to the scene that I'm currently on which is screen share plus desk so the C920 me camera is the one we want and when you click on this when you click a keyboard button now it will register as the hotkey for enabling that. So I'm going to use the button 6 here and you can see Control alt shift f6 was pressed and I'll do the same for hiding so I can make it basically a toggle and then when we hit apply and OK when I hit 6 here I appear and 6 takes it away again. And just to quickly go over some other things you can do with it. So say for example you want a uh, hotkey for copying and pasting. So we can take this example here, just grab a couple of them, and instead of calling the send macro command, we'll just replace that with this. So you want to press Control and C, so we'll get rid of this left shift one and replace it with the C character. And now when we upload this, we should have something that copies, so we'll do the same with um, pasting. Now we've got the ultimate stack overflow keyboard. So let's uh, upload that. And now if we highlight something, press our one button and press the two button. You can see it's copied and pasted it, which is pressing those two buttons there. And the last thing that I want to show is you can also use it to type in text. So instead of keyboard.press, you do keyboard.print or printlin. So we're going to print in a message here. And now if we press the 3 button, you can see it types out. And it's pretty instant. This would even be really useful for games. So say you wanted to implement a quick chat feature onto your keypad. So say, for example, a lot of games have T as their talk button. So we'll just say... Uh, uh, good luck, have fun, and we'll change the button to be T. So now when the 4 button is pressed, it'll press T first, and then we'll print good luck, have fun. Maybe it might need a bit of a delay there just to make sure that the chat has popped up before it prints the GLHF, but yeah, it should work perfectly. One thing to be careful about when you're using this uh, keyboard library is if you do anything automatically, so say for example you had a sketch where all it did was in the loop delay for 100 milliseconds and then type out a message, it might actually become quite difficult to reprogram your device because as soon as you plug in the Arduino to be programmed it'll start typing messages over and over and over again. So you might actually be better off to make sure that there is something triggering the event to happen. I'm sure there must be a way of programming it anyways, but uh, yeah, it can definitely get awkward. And that's it for what I think is the simplest macro keypad you can build yourself. Maybe buying one is simpler than building one, but definitely I think this is the simplest you can do DIY style. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear them. I haven't gone too deep into what you can do with the keypad on uh, Pro Micro, but I just thought I'd share this basic use case because I actually think it's quite useful and could be used to make interesting things. 
like it's still an Arduino so you could still interact with different sensors or whatever so you could trigger you know hiding your computer screen if your door gets opened I don't know why you'd want to do that but that's an option okay that's it for this video I'll catch you next time bye bye